Omitofu, and welcome back, everyone, for this brand new episode of Kung Fu Conversations with Shifu and Shimu. Uh, um, today, we're going to be talking about the process of learning. Now, we all know that it takes hard work, dedication, and perseverance in order for you to learn, but we're going to dive deeper into this uh, topic, and do stick around. Let us know in the comments below how you think about the process of learning today and what are the important things you believe you need. Do let us know. Omitofu, Shifu, and Shimu, how are you? Omitofu, Stefan, and Omitofu, everyone, and welcome back. Now, everyone know the cornerstone of all education begin with the relationship between a teacher and the student. We're gonna take a look at how time has affected these relationships whether or not that is positive and or negative. Uh, how has time affected the relationship between teacher and student for both of you? I think uh, in the older time, teachers, shifus and masters get much more respected. At the same time, have more authority. I think in today's uh, modern life, they get less respected and then they have much less the authority. With the culture that is changing, everything become more laid back. And the relationship between a teacher and a student become one of a, a friend. By relaxing the dynamic between the teacher and the student, sometimes we have forgotten who is the teacher and who is a student. So what I'm seeing is like a shift in power in a way. I think a part of it is also gratitude. If I was accepted by a teacher, I felt like I'm, I'm the luckiest person to able to study under this individual. Now it's changed, as you said, that the teacher will be, they think that the teacher should be grateful because now you are bringing business and paying my rent. I think of building a strong relationship is very important. When it's a... The students want to, to learn, want the relationship, mm -hmm. right? Also, the teachers, the shifts, also want to coordinate the strong relationship. Right now, I'm telling you all you listeners, in the reality, if someone along the way, anybody did not really coordinate you, you just blend it, no matter how hard you work, you only go some, so far, only some higher. Right. You really need a both combination to coordination a, a greater skill. In today's modern world, are there any negative things that might be affecting that relationship? Oh, yes. <laughs> Everyone own one of this, right? <laughs> Let's talk about this. Our best friend and our worst enemy <laughs> and the concept of multitasking. Where in this modern world, multitasking is considered a superhuman strength. And how that help or does it not with the way we learn? All right, start with your shifu. And I know you love your cell phone as well. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, always with the technology, we could not focus on one thing. Sounds good, really need the time to develop it. To no shortcut, mm -hmm. no easy way, want to getting better. Yeah, it's no, like we just don't have the patience, we just look everything, want to everything quick learning. Even we have a student ask, uh, how can he only exam, they come in to class uh, two weeks, so how can I get better on the first day? The first dance is come with your whole life, you practice all life, mm -hmm. so keep you getting more feel, feel it. Okay, so I know sometimes we can't help it anymore. Now, let's, let's be honest, okay? Before, when you are online or you're doing your work, you have one window open and you do that one thing. But now you could have four to five window open and you could be watching four movies at the same time. Um, how does that work, right? And so we kind of like, we programming ourselves to do multiple things. And the attention span, I think that's exactly what it is. And I'm guilty of it, just like you. Our attention span is getting shorter 
and shorter, right? Everything has to be short. Everything has to be fast. You need to do not just one thing. Uh-uh. You know, just like when you have a job before you could do maybe two to three tasks, but now your boss is going to say, you better learn how to do 10. But if you could do 15 for me at the same time, well, that will be better yet. How do you become mindfulness about what you're doing, right? Because our mind is always constant going. I, I think it's mm -hmm. definitely affecting us. Oh, um, <laughs> like you said, it is a blessing and a curse, right? Um, maybe the video before last where you were talking about how um, technology allowed you both to um, gain more access, right, mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. more students mm -hmm. and, um, you know, be able to spread, um, you know, this beautiful culture and art form, you know, all over, right? But um, at the same time, right, um, there's a lot of access, right? Mm -hmm. So um, people might get a false sense of being an expert, right? They, they saw, uh, Oh, uh, I think Shifu mentioned it. Oh, um, yeah, but I saw this person, they do a horse dance like this. I can point my toes out, um, <laughs> you know, or, oh, I saw uh, Xiao Hong Chuan done this way. How come you do it this way? You mm -hmm. know, so it, it's like the curse of WebMD, right? Like <laughs> you go on there and all of a sudden you find out you have all these different ailments. You have to just trust the expert, right? Um, it, it is great that we get access to a lot of information, but you've got to trust the people who put, you know, the work in to learn to be able to mm -hmm. uh, correct your movements, uh, teach you skills that you may not have felt you could do, mm -hmm. and, and trust that they're progressing you along mm -hmm. the way that you need, right? right. So I, I think that it, it's all in moderation, right? I, I think that also um, it's hinder our um, ability to appreciate right appreciate mm -hmm. a process at the end of class oh i did such a great job i'm gonna just go <laughs> oh, thank you <laughs> thank you for the lesson right is that we don't even have the ability to appreciate mm -hmm. to give thanks right to um the people who created the process right you know the arts your lesson thank you so much for teaching today and now it's like mm -hmm. what me you want me to do it again yes you i <laughs> want you to do it again it's not an iphone we can't just press a button and you know i could program you to do this no it's you we need you to do it again i think that's a really cool way to look at it like you're, you're getting that attention right um you know and that and that's something youtube can't give you right right that attention right yeah. when you learn no, it's not fast, right? It cannot be fast. Because if it's too fast, you're not learning. And progress of the learning improving, actually, sometimes you feel all the training, I'm sure some of you hear this, even professional athlete, you will sometimes feel make a uh, flood of tossing when you don't go anywhere. This is where the uh, decision be making. You mm -hmm. have to stick with it. You, mm -hmm. you need to basically, you basically catch up, your ability to catch mm -hmm. up, you mentally catch up, whatever reasons, and then you will continue improving, right? I know we've, we've had a conversation similar a very long time ago, talking about how, you know, today, I know Shifu mentioned, he's like, you know, we think that we're so smart today. Mm -hmm. But the people back then were on a different level of intellect, right? right? Mm -hmm. And um, I think that's due to dedication and um, also to, um, there wasn't, of course, there's always going to be distractions, right? But there mm -hmm. wasn't that access, mm -hmm. right? Um, you know, you had your phone, right? that's unlimited access right there mm -hmm. right you you always have a distraction at your fingertips so it's very easy to say okay you know what i'm just gonna get on here just for a little bit i'll, I'll do the push-ups later mm -hmm. you know or or, or um yeah i'll go and i'll i'll study later i'm gonna do so i think it, it was a little bit uh just 
something of the time where mm -hmm. they were forced to be that focused. Mm -hmm. And today it requires a lot more discipline mm -hmm. for someone to be that focused and mm -hmm. that, you know, so that's, you have to have either incredible interest in that, mm -hmm. uh, whatever it is you're doing that will now drive that right. uh, discipline and um, like laser, you put on your blinders and you, all you see is that. Uh -huh. That takes a lot of discipline and dedication right. and love for what you're doing. So I think that's really difficult to do today. Yeah. You know, and or maybe because we are also being rewarded by our technology, this instant gratification, which we <laughs> spoke about, right? Because yeah, it feels yeah. so good to accomplish something so fast. So yeah. we just couldn't help ourselves when things just don't come our way the way we want it. We just give up. Mm -hmm. If you were going to give our, um, your, actually your youngest Kung Fu <laughs> brother and sister who just entered into our school or anyone out there that they just starting martial art, one most valuable advice, what would that be? Uh, be understanding and forgiving to yourself and your body. Uh, that's what I would say. It, it it's going to take time to learn and get used to. So mm -hmm. just give yourself that time and be forgiving. Yeah. yeah. And, and Shifu, what is one most valuable advice that you could give all your students as they neither start or continuing with the martial art training? I will give our audience like, if you even not only in this school, any schools, just like stick with it. Keep going, stick with it. Don't, mm -hmm. You will have a flood of talk once in a while, mm -hmm. but just uh, don't give up. Mm -hmm. Means uh, I, I know this uh, martial arts owner friend more than 20, 25 years, right? Then he told me, he said, oh, student right now, like uh, go to martial arts school, like clothing shopping. They come in different martial arts. Schools. Not only you, he said. They go different martial arts. Go couple of weeks. They left a couple of weeks. Just like equals like a fast fashions. Unfortunately, this particular skills, it's uh, take a lot of time to coordinate. Mm -hmm. And just a, just a one word stick with. It. Mm. And I think that it's interesting that Shifu uh, pointed out fast fashion. Right. Mm -hmm. Again, I think this is also a cultural change that hinder mm -hmm. our ability or our mindset. Right. You just want it trendy. You want it cheap. You want it now, but you don't want it forever. It's not something that you um, treasure. As of the older time, we have a wardrobe where we have hopefully quality clothing. We have fewer pieces, but we treasure it and we could wear it again and again and see it will be fashionable, right? It will still make a statement. And so again, that is also a cultural change. And I think that if we are being very mindful about all the outside force that is maybe play into play with our relationship with learning and the awareness of it, perhaps it would help us to stick with a goal or a skill set that you want to learn and you will really appreciate it at the end of your journey. And you say, I did it. I stuck around with it and I did it. Well, this has been another great conversation. Please do let us know what you would like us to discuss in the next video. Like, comment, share, and do subscribe to the channel. And Shifu and Shimu, are there any final thoughts you have for our listeners? To the GE go, Mo Wang, Shifu Lao. Don't forget your teacher efforts when you reach your highest skill. With that, Omitofu, and we will see you in the next Kung Fu conversation. <laughs>